it's this drunk girl gamer and i'm here today to talk to you in another video game review pew, pew, pew. i am covering life is strange true colors which because i don't do research i'm just like that looks fun i walked into it not knowing i've missed games beforehand ah. i also didn't know it was by the same people who made final fantasy and if you know square enix final fantasy you know kingdom hearts all that jazz you know that they are a slower game than what i've been playing and a lot less bloody um <laughs> I'm not mad at a graphic novel situation um, with a lead girl named Alex who has empathy powers as I fix my wig cap. Um, but like it was just a little bit slow for me as a person. It's a good game. It's a fun game, but you have to be in the mood for something like that. So like if you're like me and you want the blood and the guts and the gore and the scares, you're not going to get what you want. If you're most of my friends who are like, I just want to have fun. This is for you. And I'm happy I played it so I can tell you to play it it's a choose your own um because that's where i'm at in life i love a choose your own i will always play a choose your own and i don't know what ending i got because it kept freezing i think that's the playstation subscription situation because i downloaded her i tried her in the cloud i will never see my ending and i keep meaning to google to see which one i got because i was trying to get her a little girlfriend while solving her brother's murder um and i think it succeeded but i don't know i don't know and i want to know but like there's a lot of fun stuff you can do it's a lot of like meandering around if you're one of those people who love to play things and try things in different orders you can run around the parks you can like run around festivals you can like play music um yeah it's a lot going on in the game i think it's a fun time again it's just a little bit slower than i would like my video games to be and a lot less violent that's all it really is um as far as if say yay and nay are may from me I think for me as a person, it's a may, but I think if I could be objective for a second, it's a yay. It's not like a strong yay, but it's a yay. I think there's a lot going on. I love seeing Asian character leads. I love that her superpower is empathy. I think that's cool and interesting and there's feelings to be worked through that I'm not wanting to work through. And that's why I'm probably not the biggest person for it. However, I do wanna know what happens in the previous games. I, I do want to know Know that i don't know if i will be playing them or if i'll make somebody tell me or if i'll just google like wikipedia is there but i do think that if you are in the mood for something slower but also something not boring but also a little bit less jump scares and less nightmares and more let's think about this thriller-esque situation she's a good game for you so enjoy bye thank you go play that